Hey, this guy is just cold chilling. He's gonna get a pizza after this. Good afternoon, Mr. Knight. Okay. Good afternoon, Camille. Would you please state your full name for the record? Morgan Higby Knight. Mr. Uh -huh. Knight, where are you from? I live in Los Angeles, California. And what do you do Ooh, for a mistake. living? So I currently own and run Hicksville Pines Bud and Breakfast in Idlewild, California. And I created and ran uh, Hicksville Trailer Palace in Joshua Tree, California, mm -hmm. starting in 2009. Okay. okay. How is Hicksville Pines Bud and Breakfast different from Hicksville Trailer Palace? So Hicksville Pines Bud and Breakfast is um, up in the mountains of Idlewild, which is a beautiful like snow town above Palm Springs. It's nice. And um, all the units are A-frames instead of trailers, which we have. It's obviously a very different climate than Joshua Tree, which is a desert area. Okay. Um, well, hashtag the add, get it in there. rooms, which are themed at both places, are uh, trailers, finished trailers from the 50s through the 70s at Hicksville Trailer Palace. So um, there's also different kind of amenities. There's a pool in Joshua Tree. Um, all right. There's a rec room up there at uh, Hicksville Pines. When did you first become the owner of the Trailer Palace? Trailer Palace, I started building it in 2009. It took about a year with uh, my collaborator, Stephen Butcher, and on the trailers. Uh -huh. And we got done yeah, and opened yeah. um, in 2010. Did there come a time that you sold the Hicksville Trailer Palace? Yeah, I did at the beginning of 2020. I um, had some health issues. I was a filmmaker at the time and wanted a place to get away and work on film projects outside mm -hmm. of Los Angeles. Uh, I also put in a recording studio so musicians could record records there. Okay. Uh, I had lived in New Orleans for five years and there was an amazing recording studio there called Kingsway where all the Musicians would come and they'd live in this big mansion and record their records. And I just thought that was a really neat thing for artists to be able to get away and create their, um, create whatever they were working on. It's lit. Okay. Over the course of the uh, build out of all the trailers, themed trailers, which I'm a huge fan of this hotel called Madonna Inn. And uh, so I wanted to do really Whoa. detailed themed trailers. It became too expensive to just make a living off of an artist retreat, so I decided I before I was done to make it a hotel as well. Okay. And what were your job responsibilities, generally speaking, when you owned the Hicksville Trailer Palace? So I would um, be live-in manager some nights, um, a couple nights a week. I would also drive out from Los Angeles twice a week. and bring supplies that you can't get out in the Yucca Valley area and Joshua Tree. Um, there's just a lot of things like, you know, Smart and Finals, Costco's and stuff. So I would drive that stuff out. Um, there's also no uh, USPS. So sometimes I'd have to get things shipped to my house and drive them out as well. Uh, I would also just do um, constantly building and creating new stuff at Trailer Palace, uh, whether it's new trailers or amenities. So I would be working on that stuff as well. I'm a big fan of the fact that Disneyland is always making it better and better. Great. And when you were the live-in manager, does, does that mean that you spent the night at the Hicksville Trailer Palace? Yeah, we have a house on site um, where the recording studio was and there's a bedroom in there. So whoever is live-in manager those nights um, stays in the house and, and basically lives there. There's a kitchen and everything. Okay. So they're on site. Have you ever met the plaintiff in this case, Mr. Depp? I had met him really briefly at the Viper Room in the late 90s. Um, uh, I had worked with some of the people that performed there and was good friends with uh girl Robin from the Pussycat Dolls and um, some other friends in this band, the Imposters. So I was there and I met him once. Uh huh. How about Miss Hurd? Ever met her? I had never met her before. Um, they were guests at the hotel. Yeah. When was the first time that you met Mr. Depp and Ms. Heard together? Um, in late May 2013, uh, when they were guests, uh, Mr. Depp's assistant Nathan had rent out the entire place so they could have a night um, there in privacy. And what do you recall, if anything, about Mr. Depp and Ms. Heard's arrival to the Hicksville Trailer Palace? Okay. 
Mr. Depp got lost. Uh, so, um, all right. His security guard who arrived early asked me if I could go fetch them because okay. he had an old car that um, didn't really fare on the dirt roads out there, which are pretty horrible. So um, I went out and made sure that they got themselves and the car back to Hicksville safely. Do you okay. remember approximately at what time that was? It was three to four in the afternoon. What was Mr. Depp's demeanor when they first arrived? At Trailer Palace, he was super excited about the place, really complimentary. Um, uh -huh. Just had a lot of questions and um, was just seemed like he was in a really great mood. And how about Miss Hurd's demeanor? Anything stick out? She was pretty quiet. Um, she uh, just kind of didn't say that much when I was giving them the tour of the grounds and the trailer. Okay. And was anyone else with Mr. Depp and Miss Hurd when they first arrived? Uh, there's people that are arriving throughout the afternoon, so um, there was, uh, um, I think, 10 to 12 people total ended up staying. Uh, the security guard had gotten there earlier and just to check out the place, but, um, but yeah. And did I understand your testimony previously that the entire trailer park was rented out by Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd? Yeah, Big the whole dick. place slept, I believe, at the time, about Damn. 25 people, but there was only 10 to 12 in this party. All right. And who was part of that party besides Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd? Mm -hmm. um, I'm really horrible with names, but I remember one of them was uh, Ms. Hurd's sister and the security guard I mentioned before, but uh -huh. I honestly forgot his name, too. What happened when Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd first came onto the property? So um, I gave them a tour of, we give all guests a tour of their specific trailer and the grounds and um, show them around the, uh, when someone rents the whole place, they get uh, another trailer called the bar trailer, which is basically a place to set up their alcohol and stuff. And some people in the group were just putting their beverages in that area. And where were you when uh, Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd, did there come a time when Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd went to the bar trailer? Okay. Um, I didn't notice most of the time that it, my interactions with them, everything's kind of centrally located. So there's a fire pit, bar trailer, and picnic tables all right in the same area. So they were generally around that area the entire evening that I saw them. Sure. And what did you observe of Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd as the evening Johnny progressed? Um, so Mr. Depp was super, uh, just super curious and really nice. Um, he was also really interested in my innkeeper because she was a musician, so they would talk about music a lot. At one point, uh, the innkeeper who lived at the next door property went home and grabbed her guitar and they had um, sung a like. song or two around the campfire uh, in the early evening. Um, There's another instance where oh. Mr. Depp, the innkeeper, her name is Jenna, and myself were talking about books and music and Miss Hurd came over and kind of interjected. She seemed a little annoyed that um, Mr. Depp wasn't spending time with her. What about Miss Hurd's demeanor made you think that she was annoyed? Um, I think just generally oh she... Oh my god. Uh, it's hard. Like she, I think... Yeah? Uh, I don't know. It was just, it was just like a gut reaction. Like I, I can't describe it. No but, chemistry. Um, you know. How long were you She's with Mr. Bitch. Depp and Miss Heard that evening? Yeah. Generally. So throughout the course of the evening, I was probably forty, mostly with Mr. Depp, but forty-five minutes to an hour total. Uh -huh. um, so it was, uh, yeah, that's over the whole course until the end of the night after the check-in. And did you have an opportunity to observe Mr. Depp, Depp interact with other people, guests on the property that evening? Yes. Um, okay. I saw him hanging out with his security guard at one point, and um, outside of the uh, time that him and Jenna were singing around the campfire, he was off by himself um, a lot of the time, and Ms. Hurd was over at the uh, at the... Um, campfire with her friends and seemed to have a good time. 
And if you haven't already, can you generally describe for the jury your observations of Ms. Heard that evening? Um, yeah, she was, uh, she was, seemed to be having a really nice time with her friends around the campfire. Okay. Um, okay. And great. Yeah, everyone was in a pretty good mood. Wow. Did there Yay. come a time in the evening that you observed Mr. Depp and Ms. Heard have a disagreement or an argument? Yes. Um, I was speaking with Mr. Depp uh, just one on one, talking about Hicksville, and um, okay. Ms. Heard uh, came over and she said that I want to talk to you and seemed really upset about something. So I went and um, back in the house because it was really, um, they uh -huh. went off on their own and they, she started yelling at him and I, I didn't want to hear it. It honestly was really triggering because I've been in a emotionally abusive Objection. relationship before. Objections. Move to strike. What's the objection? You're up for me. We reproach. Okay, sure. Uh, sorry, this is too good of an argument that makes my uh, my my client look bad. Uh, let's write that. Uh, delete that. Delete that. It makes me look bad. Yep, get it out of there. Uh, yeah, this. Yeah, it makes me look bad. I, I, you know, damn, this is too close to home. Yeah, I mean, of course, right? Like, that's the thing. Objection triggering. Yeah, let's look who really got triggered there. It was the fucking lawyer. Whenever she got to hear that. Yeah, this is this is a good argument. I no no no. Only we can make emotional arguments, okay? No no no. He can't make an emotional argument. But that's not how this works. Holy shit! Mr. Knight, will you please just explain for us what you observed when you saw Mr. Depp and Ms. Heard having an argument? Uh -huh. Yes. Um, so Ms. Heard asked him to go talk um, off to the side, and she was upset at him and she was yelling at him yeah um and i personally had been in objection a, all right i'll sustain the objection okay. okay if you could just explain to the jury um what you observed when you saw mr depp and miss heard having an argument okay okay um, that's fine yeah sure he was kind of cowering and seemed almost afraid and um it was really like odd to see because he was older than her obviously so um but i just went back in the house because i didn't objection wanna... to what he did all right i'll sustain us to understood so after you observed the argument fair to say you went back to the trip to your house wow. yes i did yeah okay wow um, what happened after that so when I saw Mr. Save the Depp, best for last. Um, on my next rounds, he apologized profusely and said, I'm really sorry about that. She was uh -huh. upset. Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. It's make, it's making me look bad. What, if any, type of reaction did Mr. Depp have? He was just really... Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. He's going to say it again. It's the reaction. It's not the statement. All right, if you could make that clear, that's yeah. fine. Just what type of physical reaction did Mr. Depp have after the argument between Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd? He honestly, throughout the rest of the night, became a lot more quiet and, um, and was uh, just very more petulant. In the beginning of the night, he um, was a lot more outgoing and extroverted, and throughout, as the course of the night went on, he was less and less so and more quiet. Did you observe any of the guests consuming alcohol while on the property? Um, I assume they were. I mean, people had cups and Fuck. there was alcohol set up in the bar trailer, but I didn't physically see them pour alcohol into their cup and cup go into the mouth, per se. Did you witness Mr. Depp drink any alcohol that evening? I couldn't say. Okay. Anything about Mr. Depp's demeanor that made you think he was perhaps intoxicated? Yes, um, as the night went on, uh -huh. he, uh, I am a former bar owner, so I'm, even though I wasn't drinking that night, I'm very familiar with the uh, signs. So um, just as the night went on, like I said, he became more and more quiet, but he also, as we would have conversations, his uh, head would kind of sway a little bit back and forth, mm -hmm. which was a little, you know, it was, he was much less sharp than he was earlier in Captain the night. Jack Sparrow. Did Ms. Hurd uh -huh. appear intoxicated to you? Um, she did. 
she seemed, I think when she was angry at him, it, it seemed like she was intoxicated, but that's just based on my experience and my own personal trauma dealing with abuse. Uh -huh. Objection, Your Honor. Move to strike. All right. I'll sustain the objection. Okay. I'll strike it from the record. Please disregard that testimony. Okay. Did you observe anyone do or take drugs? I did not. Did you witness Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd interact other than the argument that you previously described for the jury? Um, the, at the end of the night, I heard a commotion. I was inside the house and came out. I couldn't tell what was going on yeah. um, and Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd were having a discussion about um, about I, I'm not sure what but then they went to their trailer at that point a lot of people had already gone to bed so um, it, it just kind of petered out everyone went to bed including myself and I didn't hear anything else the rest of the night. What time did the evening come to uh -huh. an end? I'd say it was almost around 3 a.m. Did you ever see Mr. Depp grab anyone? Objection yeah. leading. Sustained. Uh -huh. Did you ever see Mr. Depp become physical with anyone? Objection leading. Okay. Sustained. Next question. Okay. Did you ever witness Mr. Depp get angry that evening? Objection leading. Sustained. <laughs> Do a what if any? Do a what if What any? if anything happened the next morning? Um, the next morning, we have checkout at noon at the time. Uh, before COVID, and so uh, about 11 o'clock, yep. one of my innkeepers let me know that there was some damage. Objection, of course. Mm -hmm. um, Did something happen that caused you to go to Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd's trailer? Yes, I was informed that. Objection, hearsay. It's not being offered for the truth, Your Honor. I mean, it, may we approach on this okay, one topic? Sure. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Yep. All right, I'm sorry to say for five subs. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it's just... Oh, my God. Like, she's just going to go in and try to figure out and interrupt this guy as much as possible. Uh, I don't really think that it's... Um, it, it's fair to say that his bias exists, right? He's a witness bias or something like that. Uh, about him being a previous uh, abusive relationship. Because... A lot of the witnesses have said that happened, and I think it's just, it doesn't seem like it's a real bias. I mean, it's just like that, that's what happened to him. And what so if anything happened the next morning, Mr. Knight? Uh, okay. The innkeepers let me know that there was some damage in one of the trailers, and it happened to be Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd's trailer. So okay. I wanted to inspect the uh, trailer because I was extremely worried. Um, all those trailers that Steve and I worked on were like my babies. And yeah. um, the one they were staying in was the only one that was mostly original and restored 1950s style. And so I was uh, very concerned. So what did you observe when you went to the trailer? I observed up. that um, there was a light sconce by the bathroom um, in the bedroom that had been broken off the wall and a couple pieces were on the floor. And they were, um, and yeah, it was basically just broken. The light fixture was hanging on the wall still, except for the pieces that were on the floor. Did you come to understand how that happened? Objection, yeah. foundation, and All right, light. foundation, also seen as the foundation, how he knew. Did you ask how the sconce was broken? Objection, hearsay. Sustained. How often do light fixtures in the trailers break? Um, they break uh, pretty often. I mean, it's not like a usual thing, but things in the trailers generally get broken because it's all vintage trailers. And uh -huh. um, I would say as much as every couple weeks, there's some incident of damage in one of the trailers. Yeah. In this case, no Mr. Depp had told me that. Objection, do you say? Objection. Um, so anyway, yes. Mm -hmm. Beyond the light fixture, was anything else in the trailer damaged? No, everything else looked fine. In fact, we have a, a something we call a piggy fee uh, that we address to guests that if there's anything what we call inconsiderate or unusually large messes, we charge them extra for it for a $25 an hour cleaning fee. That makes sense. But they That's did not fair. receive one of those because everything outside of light fixture looked fine. 
And what was your reaction to seeing the damaged light fixture? Okay. Um, to be honest, I was relieved Piggy because thing? it was yeah. not a big deal. I just tucked, there was already another light in the room. So I just tucked the wires in the wall until I had a few months later time to um, buy. It was matching sconce with another one in the room. So I had to, on eBay, find a matching pair that would fit uh -huh. there. And uh, when I finally got around to it, I was able to get that and charge it to uh, Nathan, who had, whose credit card I had. Yeah. And what was your understanding of who Nathan was? Mr. Depp's assistant. Okay. And what did you charge oh, Nathan smiling. or Mr. Depp for replacing the, that she's pair of the light crazy fixtures? Shit she did. The pair she did came the out same to $62. Okay. Obviously. I don't know about obviously. But that's what I would assume. That's a pattern of behavior. While you were on site, um, Mr. Knight, did you ever wear a mesh shirt? <laughs> no, I would uh, absolutely never wear that. <laughs> At My any man. time during Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd's stay on the property, did you see Mr. Depp become physical with anyone? Objection I did not. leading. Okay. Overruled. That's right. I'm sorry, that answer was? Uh, I, I never saw Mr. Depp get physical with anyone when I saw him. Thank you, Your right. Honor. Cross-examination. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Knight, you are a pretty big fan of Johnny Depp, aren't you? Oh, here we go. I am not. To be honest, uh, Damn. throughout the evening, I... Uh, I sorry, I, I just asked you one question. Oh, I, I, I didn't apologize. ask you the rest of that. I you apologize. wanted to participate in this trial, didn't you? I did not. I you was knew? asked by the attorney, and I wanted to... They. Um, asked me and I said, I'll be happy to come and tell the truth. You knew this was on camera, that it was being broadcast to a lot of people, and you saw testimony, did you not in this case, and you seized the moment and responded to the umbrella guy, the lead person for Mr. Depp's Twitters. Did you His not? Twitters? Objection, Your Honor. Argumentative compound. Oh, overruled. His Twitters? Uh, Mr. Umbrella Guy is the lead the lead you one. know that he is he this leads is one the, of the most predominant pro depth Twitters out oh, there. Oh fuck you! I have away. no idea. I don't care or follow the umbrella guy. In fact, you do follow a Twitter called Johnny Depp fan, don't you? Absolutely not. You don't? That's your testimony no. under oath? It is my testimony under oath. All right. And on April uh -huh. 21st, Mr. Depp testified in this case about Hicksville, didn't he? I wasn't here. And in fact, you tweeted in response to the umbrella guy <laughs> on April 21, This 22, is it. This is it. Quote, that never happened. I was with them all night. Amber was the one acting Please all jealous and crazy. Do yes, you recall I, writing that? I do recall writing that. What about that? the emoji? Can you bring that up, please? We're going to call it Defendants 1903. 1903? Yeah, well... <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and ask Let's you see. to redact. How many people does he Leaving follow? the umbrella guy. Following 82 and the date. people. Let's see if he follows the guy. And the bringing in the Hicksville. Your Honor, I'm sorry. I'm, just... I'm going to scroll down and see if I can find it. Yeah, he does. He does follow them. It's right there. Johnny Depp fan. It shows him as him following him. Uh, assuming that's a, girl, a, a guy. I don't know. Well, she's working on that. Did you write and direct a piece called Matters of Consequence back in 1999? What? I did. And didn't Mr. Depp's first wife, Lorianne Allison, work as a makeup artist on that? She absolutely did. Okay. And while we're looking at that, uh, can change names. Four days That's after you tweeted to Umbrella Man, you I was Umbrella Guy. The um, umbrella Guy. Okay. Well, all right. Now we have this up. 
I'm going to ask you to take a look what is Defendant's Exhibit 1903. Do you see that? No, it's... I do. Okay, and that's from that umbrella guy uh -huh. on 421-22, correct? Correct. And it says, bringing in the Hicksville incident Holy accusations. Shit. Do you see that? I do. And there's clearly Mr. Depp testifying there, likely a video, right? Okay. And you respond, that never happened. I was with them all night. Uh -huh. Amber was the one acting all jealous and crazy. Do you see that? I do. Your Honor, I'm going to move the admission of defendants 1903. Yeah. Any objection? It's, it's yeah, right Honor, here. We see the We tweet. believe the first part of the um, that umbrella guy's tweet should be unredacted Re for context. Redact oh, um, well. It, I have no idea what I was replying to. It's, it's hearsay. It's, it's rank hearsay, and the context Your Honor, is not necessary. You approach. No, it, it should absolutely be included, because he didn't bring up her being jealous. He responded to the umbrella guy bringing up that he was jealous. So it's not like he just brought this up out of fucking nowhere. Uh, yeah, it, it's yeah. of course it should be contextualized. And yeah, it's also... It's also not a video. It's a screenshot of a video, but it's not a fucking video. She must be fuming. Yeah. Uh, what, what's this here? About Jerry's not gonna care. I, I'm not sure. Uh, was this? Is this some super fan? No, it, not really. Um, it's a. Uh, my, my understanding. Right. The, the guy worked at make the place that redaction to, during one of the events. With that redaction, any objection? No, Your Honor, thank you. Okay, 1903 will be in evidence with as redacted. Okay. Uh-oh. Hello, fellow trial watchers. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Now, so you reached out to the umbrella guy in this text the swift twitter Reached right out to him i wouldn't call it reaching out yeah in fact the umbrella guy is in mr A mr adam waldman do you know who adam waldman is i have no idea well he's testified <laughs> earlier that he talks to the umbrella guy that um, he what he talks to the umbrella guy yeah were you aware of that i honestly this sounds like a like schizophrenia <laughs> <laughs> now four days after this oh shit uh, event where you texted your honor yeah it's in okay good <laughs> four days after fuck. that you <laughs> tweeted something pretty nasty about elon musk didn't you oh i did okay thank you I so did, you don't yeah. like elon musk right Objection well, relevance. Oh, I, I don't know. Elon Musk. Uh, overruled. Thank you. So that was uh, the context of that is that he. Had... I didn't ask you for the context. I apologize. Okay, um, but you <laughs> texted something Tesla that had swear subs. words in it. Would you agree Thanks. about Elon Musk? Yes. It had swear okay. words. Now let's talk about your. Oh my God. Recollections here, forty-five minutes to an hour. Your recollection is that Mr. Depp actually drove there yes what type of car was he driving an old one that was a convertible an old convertible i'm not a car guy so i couldn't express okay. the model all right and your recollection was this was may of 2013 <laughs> yes okay do you recall when in may late may okay. oh my god now you said that you spent a total of 45 minutes to an hour with Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd, is that correct? After the, mostly Mr. Yeah. Depp, but that's after the tour sure. and after they were checked in throughout the course of the night. Okay, and you don't recall any of the people that were there other than Ms. Hurd's sister and the security guard, correct? I don't recall any of their names. Do you remember how many of them were female? Probably not. I believe it was predominantly female. Do you remember okay. how many males were there? I don't, outside of the security guard. Why Do you remember what any of the other people looked like? Um, they honestly just seemed like youngish hipsters, <laughs> like for lack of a better term. I know that 
Previously, a couple of them had stayed at Hicksville Trailer Palace. That's yeah. how they knew about the place. Yeah. Okay. So you didn't, you don't this recall seeing legend. how much anybody had to drink that night, correct? Uh huh. I did not witness that. And you, do you recall the use of drugs at all? I did not witness that. Okay. Were you sitting at any point with these people at the campfire? I was not. Okay. Um, and when you said that, uh, that you saw Ms. Hurd and Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd was yelling at Mr. Depp, where were they? they she pulled in uh, for a chat and it was off um, towards their trailer, like a little bit off towards the dirt. How many okay. feet were there between the campfire and their trailer? The campfire and their trailer? Yes. Approximately 75. Oh. Okay. So where in that 75 feet did Ms. Hurd pull Mr. Depp and uh, yell at him and he cowered? 20. Okay. 20 from, from the campfire. From the, the campfire. Yeah. So your testimony is that Ms. Hurd grabbed Mr. Hurd, pulled him 20 feet Mr. over, Chur. yelled at him and he cowered. Is that six? Yes, that's, that's what I witnessed. And then did they go back? I, I went inside the house. So you don't know whether they returned to the campfire or they returned to their trailer? I do not. No. Okay. Um, and do you know whether a, there were any uh, disagreements or physical communications, anything of that nature at the campfire? I do not. Do you know whether Mr. Depp did anything to anybody else at the campfire? How could he possibly I didn't see anything. Know okay, do you know whether Mr. Depp grabbed anybody's wrist and told them, asked them if they knew how many pounds of pressure it took to break their wrist? I wasn't there the whole time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you, is it your testimony that Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd went last to their trailer everybody else well, went that's before what them? she said he could he they all the rest of the people i think about half of them had already uh -huh. gone to bed and they went um they went i can't it was all around the same time at the end of the night that the rest kind of scattered there might have been a couple of people that went right after them or right before but it was all around the same time okay. sure so so your recollection is that when amber and johnny depp went back to their trailer that dissipated every everybody then left at that point yes okay all right now uh, how far away was your house that you were staying uh, in from the trailer that amber and johnny depp were staying in i'd say it was about 75 feet away okay okay um and the next time that you saw or heard anything was when you went there in the morning and saw the broken scots is that yes correct? i didn't hear anything after went to bed Okay. okay. And that's the extent of your knowledge? Yes. Okay. I have no further questions. All right. Redirect. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Mr. Knight, how did you get involved in this trial? <laughs> um, I got a text from one of our old employees who I then talked okay. to. Objection you. hearsay? Right. Don't tell us what the text said. Why are Just you getting so okay. involved? I, got a, I got a text. Okay. From, Chill out. I, I got a I'd still hear say you're under okay. objection. No. Overruled. Yeah. Thank you. He Go on, Mr. Knight. I was asked uh, if oh, it was no. objection oh, hearsay. I apologize. Um, uh, what did you? I got a text. What did you, you received a text. Okay. Yes. From and whom? From a former employee. Okay. Okay. And how long had it been since you had heard from this former employee? Approximately five years. Okay. And did you contact Mr. Depp or any of his attorneys? Objection leading? Overruled. I did not. How did you get in touch with Mr. Depp's attorneys? They got in touch with me. I Objection hearsay? Oh, overruled. Oh. Come on, Mr. Knight. Uh, She's they, trying so they hard. They reached out to me. Uh, okay. Sorry. It's okay. Ah. I think <laughs> it's only if he talks more. Next question. Can't and how do you feel about participating much. in this trial? Objection. Relevance. It's extremely relevant, considering that they have accused him of I, I being overruled. Thank you. How do I feel about it? Yeah. Um, I'm happy to tell what I saw, and that's the extent of it. I really don't care <laughs> outside of that. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Knight. Nothing All further. right. I assume this no, is not subject to All right. So you're free to go. Thank you. That's Thank it. you.
Great. All right, your next witness. Wow. Or is it going to be a deposition? Or I it... love how like he started. Oh, apologies, saying... Thank, Thank you, you. Uh, Dr. Shaw. Okay, Thank Dr. You. Calls Shaw. Dr. Shaw. Okay, Dr. Shaw. I, I love how they started saying, like, he was like, yeah, I'm not a fan of Johnny Depp. And you know what? Another thing. And he was about to just go on. <laughs> you know what? Actually, as a matter of fact, yeah, he's about to probably talk shit about Pirates of the Caribbean or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, he thought that's just funny. Yeah, that guy's a legend. Holy fuck, man.